Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 4, the Senator playthrough. Where we last left off, we had eliminated the Bakamano player by taking out their mount mountain stronghold. Um, and uh, we were setting ourselves up to take the Capitolium here, uh, which has uh, quite a number of forces, good quality troops, um, and some good siege weapons as well. So we had to bring siege weapons of our own in order to counteract that. So. So we got our line here. We've got a pretty solid force here that I think will do uh, wonders against this uh, army here. We left standard behind, but, you know, it's going to happen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to march in and attack. So uh, over here, we were uh, looking to kind of push into the enemy territory. I don't think we have enough units to make a solid push. There was an enemy army up here that uh, presented. So what we may do is uh, we're going to go down here. And we're going to come back up, kind of clear our area, and uh, we're going to continue recruiting here to bring in more troops. So I'll uh, we'll go ahead and get Hisade there. Um, so let me just double check. Yeah, that's right. These guys are just plus one damage, and the Triarius are slow, so uh, the Hisade are still the, my best bet for unit purchasing. Um, at this point, let's just scry... Just seeing if there's anything unseen that we need to worry about at this point. Um, we'll go ahead and start scrying up uh, the area here. Uh, also, yes, the Archmage did attack and destroy my forces here in the city. Um, these Tartarian, Tartarian spirits um, are a bit troublesome, uh, but we did manage to eliminate uh, all their Hellhounds except for this one, uh, which was a huge boon for our forces here. Uh, so I think we... Uh, yeah, I think uh, if they decide to attack here, we're going to be in trouble. But for the time being, we're in good shape. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, I'm, we're just being safe here. So uh, we'll go ahead and continue what we're doing there. So, okay. So at this point, we're just doing some scrying. So let's go ahead and scry up this area here. Uh, let's see here and then we'll just do a scry in this general vicinity as well okay nothing there okay I think that is all she wrote for them so Sathan you're gonna probably just march your way up and take this graveyard here to prevent the spawns and then the east will be pretty much secure from random spawns because we got this one here taken and once we kill that and take this graveyard, uh, nothing else will be spawning. So that'll be a nice uh, relief. All right, here we go. So the assassins got rid of a catapult. Nice. So we're just going to let this go and kill the emperor. Long live the emperor. Well, you see a lot of spell casting going on here. He's trying to convert, isn't he? Yep, he's converting. Alright, well we got him on fire. So there we go. There we go. So we found a breastplate of protection. That's cool. Alright. Spoils of war worth 100 coin. So that's what we got for taking the capital Liam. Uh, let's see. They left a singular spearman there. So, okay. Now the senator must begin his march in the temperate zone that is down here to get to the capital so that he can declare himself emperor, uh, which will cost us 600 gold. So we got to start saving up gold for that. This army here, though, has taken some casualties for sure. Um, do we want to bring the ballistae with us? I don't think we do at this time. Let's go ahead and transfer those ballistae. Just because they're going to be a bit slow. What does Fanon have for units? He must have taken control of enemy units here, so... Transfer... Alright, yeah, we got one of their Pikineers with us, so that's cool. Uh, Pikineers are pretty good quality, they do 1-6 to six damage. And they're long, so they can attack in front of this unit, which is cool. So they can attack... These both can attack this same unit in this spot, for instance, so... Very cool. 
All right, so we'll leave those behind and uh, we're gonna work on taking control of the items in this territory, including the mountain, uh, iron mine, coal mines, and all that stuff with this force here. Um, although getting it back over to take on the Archmage may not be a bad idea, so. Uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and recruit. You know what? We're just gonna recruit some show. Um, just create a small goblin army that can last against any uh, random and wandering forces here. Uh, let's see. So Consuelia. We'll go ahead and just kill those guys. Let's do our recruit here of Hastade. Okay. So we got some scrying to do here. Let's see where our uh, Archmage friend went. Okay, not too far. Luckily the undead are messing with them from this graveyard. So 139 units. Ah, uh, they did summon some demon knights. That's not good. Demon Knights also have a Fiery Breath. Um, well, that's actually only a Burst 1, so that's good. It's not as good as the Hellhound, but... Yeah, these guys are pretty rough customers. 3 armor with a shield and uh, 21 hit points. And they hit pretty hard, so uh, they're a pretty solid frontline troop. So, yeah, that, that is cool, having access to all the best troops um, for the different factions. Uh, let's see. And they're keeping two non-insanity causing uh, summons as well it appears okay so we're in good shape there let's go ahead and scry up hmm. moose 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 took our stuff we're taking that out so let's do some scrying up here and see what this guy's doing here nothing there nothing there so okay so be it uh, Sathan you're gonna take that and with that we'll begin the march back come and take out this moose all right end our turn nice and easy so archers and a Renata, so that's good. Uh, this force here is just going to move just like that. We'll take these gems back for a short while. We'll get to keep them. Uh, let's see. So one of these should stay. Is it the sorceress? No, you got chain lightning. You're cool. Yeah, we can we can leave Emug behind maybe. Yeah, we'll leave Emug behind. And what he's going to do is come up and take control of these uh, goblins we're recruiting. So we got five show, five bowmen, Emug. Let's go ahead and transfer those in. And we'll get, uh, well, we might as well take him along too. And then you'll be in charge of taking control of that. You guys will march my army back. Might as well take that while we're doing it, though. We can take these gems as well. Okay. There's that ant. That ant needs to die, but... Let's uh, continue our recruitment run here. We'll go ahead and get some Hastade. And yeah, I guess we'll come over and we're going to take care of that ant. By the time we're done with the ant, we'll have a large enough force built up here that we can go and do what we want to do in the enemy territory. And at this point, I don't need to do any of this scrying for now, so we're going to save our gold, and uh, that will be our turn. And there's the force that we were looking for. Uh, Reveler and Hedge Wizard. Okay. So, go ahead and move my... Lordship, uh, let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can take that detour and grab the gems there. Uh, you guys, if we want to head here, is that really the best way? One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll, we'll trust the pathing. All right. So you guys are on the hunt for the ant. What do we got here? The 40 units we were expecting. Okay. Nothing crazy. What we can do is scry. And that will reveal our ice druid who's got uh, invisibility. Um, all archers. So their melee line got stripped. That's interesting. Okay. Well, either way, we can grab a hedge wizard if we want to. I don't like hedge wizards, but uh, I'll let you decide. Oh, no, that's not my hedge wizard. This is my hedge wizard here. So he's got Vine Arrow, 1 to 6 damage on a single target, and Entangles, and Curse. So, yeah, they're just... Their spell list is underwhelming to me. But, hey, it's another mage. So we'll go ahead and center you up. All right, so we did that scout. And we found the enemy mage there. I don't think I need to do any more scouting at this time. There is a couple people that need to move, though. So, Sathon. Let's see, do you have anything here? Eight Ballistae, that's it. That's all you need, huh? Uh, they guys... You know what? We're going to just do a pincer assault here and see what happens. See who becomes available first. All right, Emug. Let's go ahead and do a recruit. And we'll get you Bakamano Show just to save some gold. And we're gonna just march, grab all this stuff as we go, so. All right, I believe that is everybody in turn. Yeah, you're taking my town, but that's okay, that's okay. All right, so you're just gonna continue moving this way. And you guys are attempting to go this way. So, and at this point, you guys can return, because with the army we've got, and that we're recruiting here, I think we'll be in great shape to uh, take on that army of just archers that we saw, because once we get them into melee, they're in trouble. So, we'll go ahead and scry that out, just to be sure. Yep, 41 units, nothing to be scared of. We got all these Hestade here, so and some archers as well. All right. Hey, look, the ants came to me. So, Sathon, you'll go ahead and take care of those guys. And then Emug, you'll go there. And I think that's our turn. So we'll go ahead and uh, say I did the recruit here, right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Question. Well, it's too long dead at this point. So let's let's do some scrying here. We can afford to. We're just looking for where she's at. So, yeah, she's summoning up. She's got herself a storm demon now. Those guys with storm magic level two are fun. So yeah. I mean, it is something we can take out. It's just going to take uh, time. That's for sure. So. All right, my thought was possibly to go out and retake the town real quick, or the city, but um, no, they're still hanging out around here and slowly. So we'll go ahead and enter. Okay. They've got a few armies roaming around now, so. I think we got to see that because uh, we had scrying on that area. That's interesting. Normally you don't get to see the undead fight. Or uh, the enemies fight. Alright, you guys will go there. And I think this is actually a Lime Tribe village. So uh, that actually worked out. So we're getting close. And we have our 600 gold that we need. We're just going to have even more once we're done with uh, taking all this stuff up here. You guys are working your way to here. Okay. Letting the auto uh, move do its thing. All right, we'll get a Serpent Acolyte. That's always good. And Hastade. Let's 
Okay. We'll grab Remus and Hermobol. Terror is interesting. Anti-magic is useful actually with the uh, forces we're running against. So we'll go ahead and add them. And what we're going to do is, since Hermobot is Hermobol is our top guy, we'll go ahead and snag everybody under him. And just verifying everything looks good. It does. Okay. So with that, um, we can begin our march to uh, to hunt down our enemy here. So let's do that. So we'll go ahead and scry. Oh yeah, that's right. They went a little bit lower, didn't they? I went the wrong direction. Okay. Well, it would have been the same either way to get to them. We'll see where they end up there. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and do some scrying here. And we'll do scry here as well. Just to see if they do an attack and um, see if we can see it again. That's kind of neat. Um, all right, Sathon. You're going to come and take this magic library and call that a day as well. And Sylvius, you're good for now, so... Alright, Serpent Acolyte. At this point, that's the only move we've got. This one should be pretty easy. And since we have a third move, let's go ahead and take this Watchtower. This is a recruit point. For us, anyways. Our Hedge Wizard leader. Go ahead and... Uh, Kind of do a chase here and see what happens. Um, so we didn't see the fight this time here, but I think that's oof, just so many troops. I think that's more related to the um, the way scrying works. Uh, looks like regular line of sight takes precedent over scrying, which means you lose out on the scrying effect uh, shortly after. Um, it's kind of weird, but uh, probably a limitation of the engine, I'm guessing. So, we're going to get a Serpent Acolyte. We're going to throw some more Ballistae on this here as well. Since at this point, we've got the gold. Um, yep, six Ballistae. And, of course, we've got ourselves uh, Soul Torn down here. So, um, yeah, why not? We'll throw some Astati there. I don't know how they'll do against the Soul Torn, but at least we'll have them. All right, and I think other than our scrying guys, and Sathon, go ahead and grab that. And as you can see, we have them. They can't ever take control of them because they're stupid though, so. All right, and then Emug, go ahead and grab that. Then we'll have start marching that way, so. Robingus, you're going to go ahead and sentry. And I believe that is U5. All right, we'll go ahead and turn. Assassin's doing their part. Nice and easy. All right, good. They came back to me. And yep. Yeah, figured they would attack me in the cave. And we managed to survive, so awesome. Archer, Centurion, Serpent Priest. Ooh, Serpent Priest. Okay, so this force here, uh, let's see, before I get them mixed up, we'll move here. We just got to get to the capital. This force here, Jungle. Uh, let's see. Nope, oh, this is what I need here. So, 86 units. We're not going to be able to take on the 141 units, but combine them with these units here and we're in good shape. Uh, so, Serpent Priest is an up-leveled... Um, I forget what the other one was called. Snake Priest? So, that's pretty cool. We're going to grab that. Um, we're going to grab Hastade. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Ancus. Uh, so he's a Serpent Priest, which is an upgrade of the Serpent Acolyte. Okay, there we go. So Serpent Priest has summoned Serpents, so about 25 of them can be uh, done. They're pretty good. I enjoy Serpents. Uh, they also climb walls, which is a big plus. Um, they also have Poison Darts, 1 to 6 Poison Darts, Armor Negating, uh, and does 9 Strikes. So that's pretty good. So, so not bad, not bad. So we'll go ahead and sentry you up. Uh, here at this point, there's 41 units, uh, mostly archer types, and we've got a pretty solid army there, so let's go ahead and crash into that. And then these guys... Snap there. There we go. Um, at this point, you might as well start marching your way out. I don't think there's anything that's been taken here other than this mountain from that stupid moose. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. And I really don't need to do any of this. Uh, well, we could scry up a little bit here. Let's do this. Just to see the 77 units have moved away. That's why that's down to 141 now, so. Okay. Um, they are all that's left, so we'll go ahead and let's do a recruit here, actually, of Astade, and we'll call that a turn. So we're going to take a lot of casualties from the archery. Oh yeah, and they got Poison Vine. That's definitely a powerful little thing. As you can see, we've got uh, some troops being affected here, but we managed to wipe them out. We got all sorts of great uh, magic items, so not a bad thing at all. Five archers for 50 gold. All right, now we're in the open territory. All that rough territory is behind us. Our 86 units here would we'll probably be able to take out that um, one group there, uh, the uh, Death Knight group. So I think we're going to utilize that. Uh, you guys, though, let's see. We have all our casters, but we're down on troops again. Uh, so we're going to probably fall back. And we got to continue to recruit here. Some more archers would be great. Some Hestade would be great. You, sir, are going to move and we'll meet up here. So you're bringing 14 Histade as well. But as you can see, the Histade did kind of melt to the archer lines, but uh, that is to be expected. So, oh, two trolls. That is not going to be able to kill two trolls. Um, so we're going to have to skip past that mine. I thought they had already cleared it, but it's not the end of the world. And then it's just you guys, right? All right, so let's do bit of scrying since we're moving troops in the area now. Nothing there. Nothing there. I forget where the uh, Death Knight went. Probably up here. There he is. Okay. Yeah, 77 units. Not too worried about that. Um, they're all standard troops. The bow lines are definitely going to do some damage, but with all the spell casting we have here, um, I think we'll, we'll be okay. I'm actually surprised too, because with our large shields, we should be doing pretty well against regular bows, but they seem to eat us up uh, pretty pretty well, so. All right, and I think that is all she wrote for this turn. All right. So. Gladiators, Ready Aris, and an Augur. Okay. Uh, let's see. So close. So close. I can't wait. All right. You guys. You know what? We're going to chase up here. I want to see if I can take out this tower bridge with this force, which I think I can. And if I can, then I can start reinforcing that. And that'll let me get a push into their territory for sure. So... 
Hermble, uh, let's see, you're returning home. You're coming to hang out as well. So, Hermble, let's go ahead and add Sethan. And why not Pompeo? And let's do a recruit here, shall we? I might as well get another auger because we have the gold and a Mastate. And let's transfer up, shall we? Hermble. Okay, and archers. There we go. Got a nice force. I uh, can't go anywhere right now, but let's see. At this point, you, sir, are going to come this way. We'll take this out and take that out. And um, yeah, we're doing pretty good in controlling this area over here as well. Should probably head down after I take these two, I guess. All right, that's everything there. Let's continue our recruiting down here. This is something I should be more consistent about. Uh, let's go ahead and get more Hastate, because I eventually want to take an army out, but probably won't be able to do it. They're slowly getting more forces here. They're up to 151, or was that what they were at before? It's hard to tell. Looks like more demons are coming in, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well, either way, end turn. Alright, so we got a unexpected hero marching in. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Coronation. Alright, so now I'm an emperor. Woo! What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at my Emperor. So Emperor uh, enables recruitment of Praetorian Guard. Awesome. Um, and then I believe we can do an Imperial Wedding. Um, is married to the Empress-to-be. The Emperor's Bride is a Renata, carefully selected. Uh, both Emperor and Renata must be present in the capital to perform a wedding ceremony. So do it, did I just happen to bring a Renata? I, I did. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, that was an unexpected bonus, so we're probably going to do that. But all right, um, then we've got erect statue. Uh, no major settlement is complete without its own gigantic statue of the emperor. The statue will guard the village from beasts and brigands, and in return, the village will be fully loyal to the emperor, and nothing will be held, withheld from tax collection. There can only be one in a single settlement. After all, there is only one emperor. It can be cast in hamlets or larger. Okay, we're going to an apotheosis. With being ruled over Elysium is great. Gods are even more powerful than that. This ritual fixes that by raising the Emperor or Empress to the statue of full godhood. Can only be cast in temples. And do we just happen to have... No, that's a ziggurat, officially. I think is the only temple all the way back home. It's an ancient temple. Oh, I think this counts as a temple district, so it has the temple. Okay, perfect. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Oh, we don't have the goal for an Imperial Wedding. Okay. So obviously we're not going to spend gold for a bit, um, but that's cool on the emperor. Um, let's, we're, okay, we're going to spend some gold, obviously, because I want to get the uh, royal guard. But um, all right, Constantine, you're going to march into this. We're going to come up and grab this tower bridge. This group here is going to recruit. I won't see it until next turn, unfortunately, but Hastate. Or I'll double check, it might only be capital. Um, let's go ahead and transfer those to Stade. And we have a force strong enough to go ahead and march out. I think we're going to march up here. Yeah, and I think we'll be able to take some great uh, works there. Or do I march to the center? Oh, uh, well, I forgot there's the unexpected hero there, so that'll make the choice for me, shouldn't it? So we'll kill them real quick. Um, so let us see if the recruitment is here. No. So, yeah, that'll refresh next round. Um, so you guys are good. You guys are good. You, sir, are going to take that. No, don't want the news. All right, and that should be everybody, so we'll go ahead and end turn.
Oh, what does he have? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's got the uh, Pendant of Luck. Okay. So we would not have the Pendant of Luck. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now if we were to recruit Praetorian Guard. So 60 gold, 20 iron. So good cost in iron. Uh, and they're slow, unfortunately. They have two armor, though, and a large shield, which makes them really tough to, to fight. And they do one to seven damage. Okay. Not the best troop in the world, only because of the slow stat. If they weren't slow, that would be awesome. Um, but still, pretty good. So, uh, And also pretty cool. All right. Uh, we got the gold, so we're going to use our special powers to do an Imperial Wedding. And now we have an Empress, Juno. So she's mysticism level two now. Um, she is the torrent of the sacred river and holy word paralyzes. Um, but does she have any special powers? So she can also turn into a god. Interesting. So uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna save it for a thousand gold because that, that, that's just cool. <laughs> um, here, let's see. All right, Terminus, you might as well use that extra action points you got because you have some sort of magic item, the Robe of Shadows, lets you move um, without being affected by terrain, so that's cool. All right, you guys come down here. I mean, we have what it takes to take out that Hydra, obviously. Don't think we need it though. Again, I don't. I still think we don't need it. So, so we're okay here. We got our 78 units here. Emug. So he'll be able to march to that, and then we'll start coming down and taking more stuff. We're making some amazing resources, or we have some amazing resources coming in. So, at this point, it's just going to be. Uh, get into position in order to eliminate uh, the Archmage at this point. But, you know, we get to see some cool stuff in the meantime. Alright, we'll go ahead and end our turn here. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it was very cool we got to be the Emperor today. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and see what it means to be a god uh, next. Uh, now that we can have two of them at a thousand gold. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we've been getting some great comments. Um, I think a lot of you are happy to see the performance of the Ballistae against the uh, Archmage's main army here. So uh, as was I, to be honest. So very cool to, to continue that. Uh, so with that, we'll, uh, we'll obviously continue uh, going through and uh, pushing the Archmage and eventually uh, get them knocked out of the game as well. So I do believe this one is on track to be a win. It's just a matter of what cool things can we see before we get there. So, so with that, um, I will bid you guys farewell.